I am Dr. Sanjeevi, NIT, Biotechnology Department, Neems University. Today I am going to discuss about water pollution. Water means universal solvent, colorless, waterless, tasteless. In this water, any external substance, whether it may be solid or liquid or any chemical, enter into the gaseous material in the water body, it will get polluted. And this way also it will, the same manner it will get polluting in the other manner any substance enter into the environment, it will be get polluted atmosphere, gaseous pollution and soil, it will be soil pollution, this all pollution also coming to the water only mainly. Okay. First we want to go for the how much availability of water in the world, 100 percentage of water, 97 percentage of water it is in the saline water and rest the fresh water only 3 percentage available. In this 3 percentage of water, again we can go for 68.7 percentage of water in ice cap and uh, ground water 30.1 percentage ground water and surface water 3 percentage, 0.3 percentage and other 0.9 percentage. In this surface water only 0.3 percentage only we can use for our day to life and all other things lake 87 percentage and river 2 percentage and so 11 percentage. Okay. What is exactly water pollution? Any undesirable unwanted changing in the water bodies it can physical, chemical or biological it will be get affected by the water and we can't drink or we cannot use for the our day to life. And water pollution varies source, it will be major way in the two manner, one for natural and another one for man made source. And natural source, it will be coming by the rain and the all suspended material or in the soil it will get eroded, all contaminated things coming by the flood and volcanic eruption, algal bloom and cyclone and earthquake. These are coming from the natural source water getting polluted and man made and this is uh, most important this agriculture activities and industry and domestic. And agriculture activities day to life the urbanization, industrialization and over rising in the population and we are going for the using more uh, chemical fertilizer and pesticide this will be affecting in the especially in the agriculture activities we will discuss more about and uh, next uh, water pollution types this is point source and one is nine point source point source means it will be we know that how much concentration of waste water after treating from the industry how much it is coming or industry how much it will be waste water coming approximately the range also we can get it but non point source it is from the various place we can't find it how much quantity how much uh, water is coming how much pollution is coming like agriculture activities domestic waste water so day to life and day to day to time it will be get changing morning time it will be something afternoon and evening the due to the human activities and agriculture activities also it will be get changing okay water pollution how it will be caused because disposal of untreated sewage it will be going to the lake or river it will be affecting by the that particular environment particular lake or river okay and this is also that aerobic manner it will be get degraded naturally and this will be producing in the uh, methane and carbon dioxide it will be going to affected by the atmospheric pollution and many and also it will be affected by the ground water and industrial untreated industrial water also this same way it will be affecting by the river and uh, uh, lake okay and agriculture enough this farmers using for the the rapid population we need more food and we are using new technology and we are not using by the natural manner organic fertilizer we are composting vermicomposting we are not using and we are using in the uh, 
uh, fertilizer hybrid variety we are using that more pest is coming then pesticide we are apply applying then it will be causing to the many thing to human health also and this when rain is coming run up through from uh, that gravity force it will go into the lake and it will be affecting by the in the uh, water body also and uh, this is called uh, eutrophication and eutrophication means enrichment of nutrients what are the nutrients nitrogen and phosphorus it will be enter into the lake and uh, bond system it will be oleotrophic mesotrophic and eutrophic and oleotrophic means it will be slightly affected by the uh, lake richness of nutrient and mesotrophic means it will be uh, more and algal bloom it will be growth and it will be uh, more organic matter it will get decaying and the organic the decay material it will get deposited in the bottom of the lake and uh, lake volume it will be get reducing day by day and finally and uh, the zooplankton phytoplankton it will be get growing more and it will be affected to the finally it will enter into the eutrophic lake and what will be affect and it will be high nutrient level and poor light penetration and uh, 